Welcome to our lecture online. So what is the relative abundance of the stars in our galaxy? Which stars appear the most in our galaxy? Well, let's go to our HR diagram and remind ourselves of the different kinds of stars. If we look on the HR diagram, we notice that there is M-type stars, we have K-type stars, our sun is a G-type star, we have F, A, B, and O. So O, B, A, F, G, K, M, when we go from the largest to the smallest stars on the HR diagram. And by and large, the, the stars on the HR diagram represent the largest quantity of stars in the galaxy. There's, of course, a few red giants, and there's, of course, a number of white dwarfs. But excluding those, what is the relative abundance of the stars on the main sequence? Well, let's say that we have a million M-type stars. Turns out, these types of stars, the little small red stars on the main sequence, are the most abundant stars. And so if we have a million of those types of stars, then there's about a half a million of K and G type stars combined. Of course, the majority of those are K type stars, and a smaller amount of those are G type stars. So you can see that there's more M type stars than all the other types of stars combined. And then if you just consider the M, the G, and the K stars combined, that's by far outweighs the number of the other types of stars. Now, larger than the Sun are the A and the F type stars. And there's more A type stars than there's F type stars, but you can see that relatively speaking, there's far fewer of those. Turns out if there's a million M type stars, there's only 120,000 or 12% of that of the A and F type stars. And then when we go down to the O and B type stars, notice there's only about 40,000 or 4% of the 1 million stars can be O and B type stars. And again, between those two, there's far fewer. Oh, I got this reversed, don't I? Let me reverse that. We have the O's over here and the B over here. Notice there's virtually no O-type stars compared to all the other types of stars, especially the M-type stars. By the time we get to the very large O stars, well, it turns out there's probably only one in a thousand that are, fall into that category. The largest of the blue giants are very, very rare compared to the, all the other kinds of stars. And that is true for the Andromeda galaxy, for our Milky Way galaxy, for most galaxies that we can see. The ratio is roughly the same in most of the galaxies. So this is a good comparison to the stars in our Milky Way galaxy. When you say it's a million of those stars, you're not saying including those stars? No, yeah, it's, so this is a little bit different. The way I try to do is comparison. If you have a million of these, you have 500 of those, 500,000 of those, you have 120,000 of those, and 4,000 of those. So you have to add them all up. So out of, that would be 660, that would be 1,660,000 thousand stars total so if you had this many stars a million of them would be this type 500,000 would be this type 120,000 would be this type and 40,000 would be this type that's another way of looking at it and the 50% represents the yeah let's let's do the uh, we can calculate it like this so 500,000 divided by 1660000 equals, that would be 30%. So another way of looking at it is that 30% of all the stars would be these types of stars. And 120 divided by 1660, that would be about 7%. So 7% would be those types of stars. And 40 divided by 1660, that would be about 2.4%. So about a 2, let's say just 2% of those, that gives you 39. So 61% would be those types of stars. So that's basically it. So about 61% of all the stars are M-type stars, 30% are K and G-type stars, 7% are A and F stars, and about 2% of all the stars are O and B-type stars. That might be a better way of looking at it. Much better. The other way just... <laughs> you didn't like the other way? No. It's <clears throat> okay. All right. There we go. We'll do it like that.